I'm Brandon from Run Repeat and welcome to my review of the Hoka One One Rincon. The Rincon is a new shoe from Hoka and is named after the popular surf spot in Southern California. The Rincon is a versatile, do-it-all cushioned lightweight trainer competing with the new Balance Beacon 2, the Skechers Go Run Ride 8 and the Pegasus Turbo 2. It's cheaper, lighter and more responsive than Hoka's popular Clifton 6. The Rincon's simple upper is made from single layer mesh which is lightweight and breathable. The comfortable upper does its job keeping the foot locked down but it feels rougher than other premium more expensive shoes. The tongue is thin but not flat. It's short and ungusseted but doesn't slide around during runs. The wide wings of the tongue help keep the tongue in place and prevent it from sliding sideways. I went up a half size because I was worried about the narrow fit of hokers. The built up heel counter is packed with large amounts of foam and holds the heel in place during runs. I had no heel slipping issues. There is also an oversized pull tab at the back. Hoka manages to create an EVA midsole that is thick in volume but light and cushioned at the same time. It feels magical. I thought that the cushioning to weight ratio of the new balance beacon was high, but the Rincon is even higher. It's responsive enough for short tempo distances, but also cushioned enough for marathon distances. It has an early stage meta rocker, which means that it's supposed to help roll the foot forward with the rocking motion of the midsole. Transitions are not very smooth due to the flex grooves and lugs in the forefoot. I could feel the lugs through the thin insole every time the shoe flexed, even if I wore thick socks. The thick midsole felt better when striking on the rear foot due to the lumpy forefoot. The insole is pancake thin and glued down to the midsole. Being so thin, there is no step in softness, so all the cushioning is contained in the Rincon's midsole. The lack of sink in cushion makes the Rincon so versatile. The shoe flexes in the forefoot and is much more flexible than the Clifton 6. There are rubber lugs placed on the high wear areas but the EVA areas not covered by rubber shred like butter on a hot pan. Wear is significant and looks ugly, especially on the lateral sides. The only other shoe I've experienced outsole wear just as fast is the Ultra Boost 1. Traction is great on pavement and grass, as well as on wet and dry surfaces. The midsole flares out underfoot to create a large, stable base. The Rincons made my feet feel planted and put no stress on my ankles. The upper heel sits on a flared base, resulting in a sink into the wider base which increases cushioning. The Rincon is great value for money, but isn't as durable as the competition. The Pegasus Turbo 2, Skechers Go Run Ride 8 and the New Balance Beacon 2 will all last longer than the Rincon and have smoother, less lumpy ride transitions. Although it's ultra light, the Rincon also feels too chunky to be a lightweight racer. For the next version, Hoka needs to change the upper to a softer, more premium feeling mesh and to add rubber on the outsole for increased durability. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the review, like and subscribe to the channel. You can also read my written review on runrepeat.com.